Hey everybody, welcome back. Tonight, we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to get down to the bottom of the nitty gritty. Because I want to know, where is all the money from the worm farming up? Where is it up? Oh no, no, no. Anyway, so, we're going to check on the uh, natural versus cardboard bedding tonight, alright? So, let's have a look. How this thing's going in here. Don't look bad. A little bit of food left. Mm-hmm. So, guess what we're doing? We're not messing with them. I'm going to put them right back where they are. i let them go. And the bin don't stink. Smells good. I mean, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me clarify that. Yeah, it stinks a little bit if you take it, stick it up to your nose. But I mean, other than that, yeah. Once we cover it back up, yeah, we're good. So, yeah, I'm okay with it. And uh, if they don't eat or they're not eating this, then that's hey, they're eating this. So either way, they're eating. They're not starving. So. That's the main thing is, is do not overfeed them and get all funky. So, and this stuff start to get clumpy. You see how how it's starting to ball? Yeah. So, we're not gonna add any moisture. We're not gonna add any food. We're not gonna do anything. We're gonna leave them alone, which has been my biggest motto the whole time. I'm sorry I ain't been on here in a while. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you a story about um about a welder and a generator. <laughs> I drug welded a generator out to uh, weld up a fence. Uh, they seem to be wanting to uh, steal cattle fences around the county out here. And uh, so I went to go weld a uh, couple of washes on at, at a fence line for my dad's property. And somehow or another, in between taking the generator out there and the welder to weld it up, um, I blew my back out. So, uh, I've been down a couple of days. So, but enough about me. So, that's that right there. And like I said, I'm, I'm good with that. I mean, we got, we still got plenty of cocoons in here. I mean, there's cocoons everywhere. So, we're still, we're still banging it out with the. With the making of the babies, so that's good. Yeah, there. Yeah. So anyway, all right. So that's looking good. I'm okay with that. This bin's getting a hell of a lot heavier than the other bin because I keep adding. You know, when we do feed it, we add a quarter bedding to each one to keep you know everything fair and fair. And this one is definitely. Um, getting heavier because that natural bedding is heavier than the cardboard bedding. That's the only thing I can come up with. It might be a negative, but I ain't sure that's a negative. So, all right, let's see what we got. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing going on here. So, yeah. Now, let's just go down the middle here. I mean, it's good, nice, healthy worms in here. I mean, you know. Still got some food left. So, guess what we're not going to do to this one either? We're not going to feed it. Nah, there's plenty of food left in there, see? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. So... We're just going to cover them back up and let them go. Moisture's good. Everything's good. Still no stinky stinky, so that's the best thing. And we'll let them run at it. Keep having And so if you haven't went to Toga's um, page, it's uh, Toga's Worm Playground. Uh, he's doing a uh, leaf versus cardboard challenge or being comparison or experiment. Uh, go to his uh, channel and check him out. Uh, I'll drop a link to his uh, page uh, in the description. Uh, go by there and check him out. He's doing some good stuff too. 
They're good people. So uh, one day, we're going to get on a plane, I guess, and fly over there and have a beer with that man. Anyway, y'all go check him out. Having it. Those are looking good. Now it's gonna be decision making time. Are we gonna feed this bin or are we gonna take and clean this bin? This is a January bin. I don't know. I'm real tempted to pull it out because see right there. I mean, it's already it's already solid right there. I mean, it's just already broke down. And yeah, so I don't know. I just. Feel like this would be a good bin to pull. We pulled the other last bin we cleaned out was a January bin, so I just feel like that uh this one's come to its maturity. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. We'll clean this sucker out. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. So I am not going to bore you with this. So I'm going to pause it a little bit. Or I'm going to stop talking right now. Y'all be tickled to death about that. So anyway. Um, and I may just speed it up. And uh, and we'll just we'll just do that. And I already got everything here anyway. So might as well. Alright, I'm going to start talking again, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so, I mean, that's that's basically how it is. I mean, it doesn't take it doesn't take long to uh, do it by hand. And if you don't have a sifter and, you know, and you don't want to, you know, beat your worms all to death, just do it by hand. Get you a glove and just go through and do like I'm doing. Just start scraping it off the top like this. As you go, and they'll they'll keep diving down. You see, but uh, yeah. To reference to the beginning <laughs> the beginning of the video about where is the money at from the worm farming, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like uh, to me, I don't know. It would be, I don't know, more headache than it would be happy. So I, I don't know. Um, my dad's like, hey, we'll take some worm castings down and sell them at the uh, farmer's market and i'm like you know what that would be cool but i was like i'm not i was like you can so we ordered some uh little uh burlap sacks or he did and uh he wants to take some castings i mean because i mean we got 200 pounds or more um I, i've got a almost a full five gallon bucket out of what three bins now and we've got how many more to do yeah so, uh, yeah, that's just what we just pulled out of these bins, this reset. And I haven't even touched the bathtub yet. The bathtub's going to be huh, gonna be the next project in progress because that's going to be a long, drawn-out ordeal because I'm going to dry that sucker out and try to push everybody over and make them migrate to the left, I guess. But they're in there now, thick as thieves, uh, still eating on the remnants of uh, the burrito. So... In the burrito, we'll take a look at it and uh, what's left of it, 
and we'll we'll go from there so um yeah i don't know like i said i told him i said well if you want to dude i said we'll bag some up and you can take it to the farmer's market up here somewhere or something and see if somebody wants to buy some somebody might need some that's cool but i am not getting into it that's what i told him that's what i'm not getting into it not taking orders and i'm gonna become a distributor nope so i got a buddy of mine on facebook he's a he owns a realty company and he's looking for a handyman and uh i was joking with him i was like yeah i retired uh at the beginning of the year and having uh I haven't stopped working yet for some weird reason. He was like, well, you told me you was busy. Uh, if you ain't busy. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. It's a headache enough to take care of my own stuff. Had to go clean out track for a underpinning on the trailer and get the underpinning stuff back straight up and down. Something had pushed it from the side and caved it under the house. And the tenant didn't like how it looked. So I went over there and... Well, we went over there, actually, me and the wifey, and uh, got him straightened out. Took about 10 minutes of my life to go over there to make the man happy, so. Anyway. But, yeah, no, no, no. I don't think I'm going to be getting into the, uh, yeah, this. Nope. <laughs> uh -uh. Nope. I don't think so. I mean, I, I enjoy this part. I do not want to make it into a business. Because that'll that'll mess it up. I used to I used to enjoy remodeling until I turned it into a business. <laughs> I used to enjoy plumbing until I turned it into a business. I used to enjoy painting. I can't stand painting anymore. Oh, so anyway, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If he wants to roll with it, more than welcome to. I mean, you know. I don't know. Uh, there's a little store down the road, or actually another little town right down the road, but uh, there's a little store down there, and it's uh, it's one of those organic stores, and uh, they'd probably jump all over if I took it down there. I told him, I said, dude, you know, I'd take it down there if it was me, but I don't want to get involved in that. That is the thing. I didn't know. Uh -uh. If I get involved in worm farming, it ain't going to be none of this. It's going to be um, bobcats and dump trucks. If I get involved, I'm gonna be sitting in a bobcat going, nee, 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 nee. and I ain't gonna be, mm -mm, mm -mm. I won't be doing this. I guarantee you that. But castings are crazy. I, you know, he was asking about, well, what's the castings usually sell for? And I was like, mm, I don't know, man. You know, a couple of dollars a pound. No, no, no. Go on eBay and look um, and see what they <laughs> they sell the castings for. Oh, man, it is crazy. He was like, what? And I was like, yeah, okay. But I was like, it still don't matter. <laughs> I was like, they don't matter. <coughs> so he was like, well, we ought, to, we ought to get some cash. I said, we, speaking French, when we did we stuff, I was like, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. Not dragging me into it. I don't need it, so. <laughs> And he don't either. He's just bored and old wants something to do, I guess. So anyway, so I don't know. Like I said, I'm not getting into the worming, casting, selling business or whatever. I wish I could sell some of my worms or I, maybe I'll just go down and open me up a little, put me a little stand up down at the farmer's market here in town and uh, be like free worms. I don't know. <laughs> Make a donation to Dirty Joe's Worm Farm. So anyway, uh, yeah, just to get rid of some of them. Somebody said, somebody said the other day that I was going to max out on my population. Yeah, definitely. And that's okay. I mean, that's that'll be fine. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know. I, and, and look, I, I'm going to ask y'all a question, okay? What are y'all doing it for? Are you doing it for the castings? Are you doing it for just the worms? Are we selling worms? I know some people are making bait. I think it's D&D. &D. Uh, welcome to the channel. They subscribed a while back. I believe they're just making bait to go fishing with it. And so, I don't know. Tell me what you tell me what your uses are for your worms. Are you worming to make worms for bait? We ain't cooking them and frying them up and eating them, are we? Now, I've watched a couple videos on that. Yeah, we've already talked about that. Making a worm patty. 
But anyway, but um, so like I said, I mean, just yeah, in the comments, or whatever, drop drop in there and let me know what you're doing. Are you just making um castings for your garden? Are you a little bit of both? Are you having fun with the weirdness of it all? Because that's what got me was the weirdness. That that's what reeled me in. It was I don't know. It was just the whole thing of the multiplication of the population and and just the the whole aspect of the worms. After I got into looking into them and figuring out, you know, they got five hearts and they, uh, you know, just everything. The homorphodites and the whole reproduction process and just everything like that kind of got me and just real me in I guess and I was like that's real cool you know and so I was like yeah I might do that and then look at here and we're gonna look where we're at you know there was a lady on one of the pages the other day made the comment that she got into it because of COVID said that uh during the COVID quarantine that most people you know they they picked up a hobby or they you know sewing or crocheting or they got a dog she said she bought a thousand words <laughs> so yeah but uh but like I said, let me let me know what you uh look at there. Ain't that pretty? Huh, ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? But yeah. Let me know what, what you what you do with them. And let's talk about the cast for a moment. Now, maybe not y'all, but some people on certain pages on a certain social media platform love to call this soil this isn't soil this is castings castings isn't dirt all the time people adding dirt to their bins i had to put i put a layer of dirt in i'm like why <laughs> you know and then everybody else they're like i'm making dirt no you're not you're not making none of it you don't need any dirt and you're not making dirt this stuff here is an organic fertilizer you can't take a whole pot of this stuff right here and fill it all the way up to the brim Put your plants in it, because that'd be like taking a five-gallon bucket, filling it up full of miracle Grow fertilizer, <laughs> putting a seed in it. That ain't how it works. This stuff's supposed to be rationed out at somewhere around about a 10 to 20% ratio to your potting soil. So, if you don't know that, read up on it, study it. It's not dirt. It's organic fertilizer. It's, not, it's a soil amendment. It's not dirt. We're not making, you know, five gallons of dirt. This five gallons of dirt will go out there and get and get tilled in to a patch of my garden. It will, will you know, to get sprinkled out and then we'll turn it in and that's how we'll do it. We're not going to replace the dirt in my garden with the castings from the worms. That's not how it works. So I don't know if there's a misconception or a little bit of confusion about that sometimes. People uh, call it soil and it's not dirt. It's dirty, yes, but it's not dirt. So, um, but yeah, I'd be real curious to see what everybody's doing with their worms. Um, cause uh, I I fish, I haven't this year because uh, I'm retired and I don't know something happened. I retired and I haven't been fishing yet. But yeah, um, some people use them for bait. And they make good bait worms, I'll tell you that now. I mean, you know, you go to Walmart, you buy reds, that's what you're buying. You're buying reds. These are reds. That's what the short name for them is, is reds. So, all right, look at there. That did not take long at all. And so, yes. Yes, that did not take long at all, did it, ladies and gentlemen. That's just one bin. I didn't do the double bin tonight because I am not getting up. Oh, <laughs> uh-uh. I'm not building that whole overhead rack thing to get the double shot down and blah, blah, blah. Uh, nope, I'm not doing that tonight. I can't. Um, my back's still hurting me. Um, I had to come down, though, because I had to make a video. Uh, YouTube has an algorithm that runs without me. And if I don't keep content, new guys, keep content flowing. Uh, don't stop, no matter what it is. I popped out a short the other night because my back was hurting. I just edited up another video and dropped it short to keep content flowing on the page because if you um, on the channel because if you don't um, it'll fall off. It'll be it's amazing. I mean, you go from uh, we average anywhere from I, I don't know probably eighteen to twenty views an hour, and it fell down to three, and I was like, what? And that's what it was. I hadn't dropped anything, and so the, it just fell off. And so um, 
you've got to keep your content on a consistent. Uh, I missed the war on Wednesday. And um, so we're going to get the Friday video in that we usually put in. But um, which is going to actually be Saturday morning because it already is. But um, but yeah, new guys, uh, channel people, yeah, make sure you keep your content constant, or or the or the YouTube algorithm will drop you, it slow you down. But anyway, all right, y'all ready? Let's you want to take a look. We'll take a look, see what we got here. Clean them up a little bit more. I, mean, I could, I don't have to, but you know, let's have a look. Look at there, shoot. Look at that. Yes. Yes, my little pretties. That's not bad for a little 28 quart bin. Not bad at all. And I don't, like I said, I'm not going to get all the castings out. I'm just going to take a rough measurement and weigh them. Call them good. Even if I weigh them. <laughs> I don't have to weigh them. It doesn't matter. Because they're going back in, going back in here. A little bit of fresh bedding. I made up some bedding the other night. And it's been sitting over here waiting for today. And I've been I've been pre-inoculating or composting or whatever you want to call it. On my uh my bedding. I, I throw the coffee grounds in there and they're still moist and they're usually moldy by the time I even dump them into the bin. I'm in the um uh, well the, the fresh bedding bin. And then um, I will throw a little bit of castings in with it and mix it in and go on and get that inoculation done as much as possible. About like the food that I'm doing, when I've got that stuff mixed up in that bucket, it's starting to break down and and get get right right. Because I don't know if everybody understands about the eating part. The worms eat the bacteria off of the food. So when you you throw something in there, like I said before, they don't come in and get on it till when. Till it gets right. And if you get it right before you put it in, that's even better. That's less work, less time, less everything that you got to wait on. Um, if you'll go in and get that stuff about half started, get it moldy, get it stinky, whatever, throw it in a bucket. I've got, you can get a bucket with a seal, with a lid, you know, old sheetrock bucket. Um, you can get a bucket from your local um, deli. Where they uh they do the frosting on the cakes, um most delis throw those buckets away. They're food grade buckets, so you can actually go and get a food grade five gallon bucket with a seal and lid. You can just buy one, or they'll give it to you over at the um deli over at Walmart or Food Line or wherever Harris Teeter, whatever you got, wherever you are, grocery store, um deli, five gallon bucket, free. So um. But yeah, do that, and then like I said, just go and throw your food scraps in it. Don't keep it, in, you know, all right, yeah, freeze it. If you want to freeze it and bust the cells in it, I got you on that one, and that's cool. After you freeze it, if you want to, you figure out your timeline for feeding, then go on and start pulling it out and shucking it in the bucket and letting it start to get funky. And then that way, you've got... It already started. So when you put that food in there, they could literally come in there and start eating on it the day you put it in instead of waiting three to four days before they come into it to want to eat it. So anyway, enough with the tutorial. <laughs> anyway, all right, look at there. What do you think? I think we're good. I think we're just fabulous. Where's the scales at? You got some scales over here somewhere? Mm -hmm. So we'll drop the scale over here. Well, do that. Do this. Oh yeah, six. Now I know for a fact. All right, yeah, we got some castings in here with it or whatever, right? So we're at six ounces. 
I know for a fact it wasn't any more than three to three and a half ounces in there because all the resets that I did were anywhere from three to seven and we split them right down the middle. So that's a basic, at least double the population. And that's since January. So what, three months? And that's a double of the population and it's good old castings. There's babies. I mean, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can even see that or not, but that's, there's one just cruising through there. But, um, but yeah, I'm just, you know, here's another baby. Another baby. Come here, baby. Yeah, see. They're in there. I mean, I'm not getting them out. I'm not putting them in there. I'm putting them over here. These, these will stay. This is just enough castings here for me to, uh, leave in to keep going with the uh, microbes. And so, you know, I'll mix my, I'll, I'll mix the new bedding in with this and that'll uh that'll get us going good there and like i said i've got i don't know over three quarters of a five gallon bucket of castings that come out of three bins so i'm getting about a quarter of a five gallon bucket per bin by the time i do the next one we should have a slap full bucket five gallons of casting and these castings will get thrown in the bin and we'll run the whole circuit. And then once we get done, we'll wind up with uh, some, some good casting. Okay. Uh, I had to go up and get another bin. That's what we'll wind up with right there. That's what we'll wind up with. And that's 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 finished, gone through, gotten out. All the little babies, all the cocoons have hatched. And we've cycled that stuff through. And this goes into the bin. And so, yeah. Yeah, so like I said, that'll, that'll work out good. All right, we're going to throw us some bedding back in here. And get us a... Uh, There's a mix going. So, yeah, like I said, even if you take off the, the half ounce for the container, now let's take another half ounce off for uh, the castings. So, we're still at, we're, we're at five. And even if we come down to four and a half, we're still more than we started with. And that's all I'm after. And I can't complain about any of that in, what, three months? We've, we've upped the population. We, like I said, we just pulled out handful after handful of castings, cocoons, and babies that are going over here. I mean, yeah, that's that's cool. So I'm okay with that. So uh, let's uh, let's make us let's make us a new home. What do you think? See, there's a baby. There's a little baby. And all this is is the pre-sifted um, leaf mulch compost and yard waste compost and some coffee grounds. And that's what I make my bed out of. And if you don't know about that, oh yeah, and there's some, there's some hairs from the uh, corn husks my wife gave me. And they're in here too. But uh, if you don't know about that, there's a video. I'll put it in the description below. And you can... You can check it out. It's a video on how to make um, bedding. It's got the little, it's the little video with the little worm, little wormy, our buddy, um, on how to how to make the bed and uh, from the natural stuff. I mean, I just grind it up, sift it through my uh, quarter inch sifter, and that's all we do to it. We'll put one more in there. Was you counting? Who counted? How many was that? <coughs> Here we go. We'll call that good in the hood, baby. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be a good little. Yeah, 
That's about right. Now we're going to do the one quart of agua. Mm. One quart. Mix it up. Don't get too overzealous with the water. You might think it ain't enough. Just keep rubbing it. Keep on rubbing it. Don't you get carried away. And if you put too much water in it, then just get another cup of bedding. But yeah. That right there. It's looking pretty good. See, I've mixed those old castings into this, you see. So we've already kind of, it's already pre kind of inoculated as it is when it's sitting over in that bin over there. Because when I go in and get to the top of that bin, it's got mold in the top of it from, uh, you know, just the moisture that's already kind of in it and also the uh, um, coffee grounds and everything that's in there. And so, you know, but yeah, that's, that's her right there, see. That's one reason why I didn't have to add a lot of water, so. It's still a little damp over there, you see. And then once I get it damp, I keep the lid on it to keep it damp. I don't let it dry back out. You're, the microbes that you're working for in your castings, when they're finished, that's what you're growing. You're growing a living organism, which is microbes. That's what you're trying to put out there in your garden. So the last thing you need to do is let your casting dry out. Because once it dries out, then it kills the microbes and everything you worked so hard to, to, to get going in your castings. That's where you lose them at is by the uh, over drying process. Or taking them and putting them in a, 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 an airtight container. They have to have oxygen to survive like all of us. So, uh, yeah. So there's things, a lot of things to it. Nothing real. It ain't rocket science, though, right? Ain't that what I said the one night? Huh? We're just making word crap here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So, all right, then. So look at there. See? That wasn't hard, right? Right. Now, let's turn them loose. See what we got. Ain't it going to be a beautiful sight? Look at all that right there. You ready? Boop. Ba-chow. Look at there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you reset a bin. Just like that. Give them a little spread out right there like that. Look at there. That's right. Uncle James ain't got nothing on Dirty Joe. Oh, no, I'm just messing with you. So, yeah. All right, well, that's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll let them get down and uh, find a new little home. I ain't going to drag you on the other being over here. I'm going to go on and do it. I got a little something else to do, too, tonight. So, I'm going to pull you back up and start another video. We got a little something coming up here uh, in the next hour or so. Um, I haven't been down here in a while. I mean, I've been down here checking on them, but I ain't been down here and done any projects. I saved those for y'all. That's the only reason why I'm here tonight is for y'all. So, um, we got a little something, something coming up with a head of cabbage. Yes, sir. So, we're going to do the head of cabbage. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I think it was verbal compost, learn by doing. I think he did a head of cabbage um, experiment. And uh, we're going to try us. Uh, we, me and him, we talked about it in the comments one day. 
about doing it. My wife brought me home this little bitty head of cabbage. It was like, you said something about a head of cabbage, right? And I was like, you are amazing, girl. So she brought me the head of cabbage. So we're going to do the head of cabbage challenge. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I bought me a new blender. So I'm thinking about um, blending it up, doing a blended head of cabbage. But I don't know yet. I may just bury that sucker right straight down in the bathtub just to see how things look. And just let them have the whole thing. So that's probably what we're going to do here in a little bit. We're probably going to go over here after I get done cleaning the second bin and resetting it. Uh, I'll probably go over here in the bathtub. We'll have a, a bathtub burrito check-in. And then we'll do a bathtub check-in, check-in. And then, I don't know, might have a, cabbage, a head of cabbage feeding to the bathtub. Because we're going to start migrating them suckers anyway. So listen. Like I said, I'm here for you. I appreciate every single one of you. We've got um, 198 subscribers now. Hey, that is really awesome. Uh, welcome to everybody that's new. Um, you know, like I said, I ain't nothing without y'all. I'm just an old man down here rambling by itself about some worms. So uh, every single one of you count and every single one of you matter. Um, so like I said, um, I appreciate it. Everybody hitting the likes and the subscribe buttons and doing all the good stuff for me. I appreciate it. Like I said, hit the comments. Let me know what you're doing it for. Are you doing it for a therapy session? Are you doing it for just, uh, you know, are we, are, are we just, we're growing worms for bait. We're growing worms for worms. We're just growing the castings for the garden. A little bit of both. Are we eating them? Anybody frying them things up in the frying pan yet with a little bit of butter and garlic? Ha! So anyway, thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out hanging out with me, and like what I told you, we'll see you on the next one.